Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make a little bunny rabbit. So to start off with, obviously I've prepped my nail and now I'm starting with my background colour. Obviously you can pick whatever colour you want. I'm going for a minty green as we're in spring or are we in summer? I don't know. Um, obviously if you were doing this on a client, you would build it up with an apex but I'm being lazy so I'm not even going to bother I'm just doing my background colour and then I'm going to work on my carrot So when your background colour's complete and you've done your apex, yada yada yada, get your orange, come in with a little bead at the bottom, shape that, obviously the bottom of a carrot has normally got that little knobbly bit at the bottom, so I'm trying to get that. Obviously you want to come in with small, small beads and make it as flat as you can so it's not sticking up too much. And then another bead. Obviously, as you start working up towards the middle of the nail, you're going to have to grab bigger beads and bigger beads, which I do change to my bigger brush, my normal brush that I would be doing my acrylics with. And obviously, just shape it. doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect because, obviously, carrots never look perfect. They're always all odd shapes and sizes and yeah we just keep repeating that and i'll be back at the next stage So once you've built your carrot up, you want to come in with a darker shade of orange and just put it all in between the grooves. The wetter the better. So obviously you don't want to be adding anything, you just want to be shading the carrot in. Give it a little bit of dimension.
So when you're happy with your carrot and all the shading, it's time to make some little leaves. I'm using the back of a nail form. If you don't have any nail forms, you can use Arabella forms if you've heard of those. Um, they're great for pre-making flowers and well, any, anything 3D, 4D. Um, using small little beads. I've used a green, a light green and then dipped it into a dark green. Um, try not to work too wet because obviously then your beads spread out. So shape it. My leaves they go from being perfect to being crap. There's no in between. Am I either having a good day or a bad day with them? Um, Uh, you need to make three leaves, obviously, put them on, they stick really well to the carrot, obviously because it's still wet on the, on the back. So once you've done that, we'll move on to the bunny rabbit. So with the rabbit, I like to um, map out where it's going to be. So I'm coming in with small little beads and just making the shape of his cheeks. Because um, then you can build it up afterwards. If you come in with too big of beads and it just ends up turning into a big ball of mess. Um, so I do find it easier to just map it out as thin as you can and then yeah build it up So then he's onto his little teeth, grab a little bead and then shape it into that little groove that you've left in between his cheeks. I find it's easy to cut in with the point of your brush, flatten it down a bit because you don't want them too big and too chunky, obviously they will semi kind of disappear when you start filling in the rest of the rabbit. Obviously I've flattened it out too much here so I'm having to go back in with more beads and then start building up his head. So obviously we don't want that standing out as much as his cheeks. Again little beads because you don't want it to be too chunky. And then with his cheeks, I do move on to my other brush because I can get bigger beads. Try not to work too wet because you will see in a minute how I kind of flooded it and had to play around with the bead on the other cheek. This cheek wasn't so bad, but the other one I did have a bit of a boo-boo and uh, I had to chase the bead.
so then you want to come in with another little bead quite wet just so it rounds off his cheeks a bit making sure all, all around the edges where you put in that bead that there's no ridges no grooves Then once you've done his cheeks, I decided add a little bit more to his head just to bring that out because it looked a little bit flat. So now on to his ears. Kind of like doing petals for um a 3D flower this part because you want to make the middle part really thin and the edges come out of it. I'm totally winging this though. I've only ever done one rabbit before and that was last year so and then on to the middle part. You just really want to colour that in rather than building it so small wet beads just to fill it in. Another little bead to build up his folded ear. Should have really waited for the uh, pink to have dried, but you know, I didn't and kind of took most of it away in the middle, but it's okay because you can build that back up anyway. on to his eyes again small beads I think I've said that about 20 times already um, not too too wet again you don't want to flood it my camera decided to die at that moment so it's a good job I realised otherwise we'd have uh, lost his eye, other eye so build that up try and give it a bit, bit of dimension by using the tip of your brush in the middle and doing that little crease in between <clears throat> once you're happy with his eyes just onto his little eyebrows which 
the one turned out really good and the other one came out quite chunky and it's left him looking a bit grumpy to be honest but he's still cute even with a grumpy look on his face so once those are done it's on to his little fluffy head which my camera decided to die again and yeah lost me doing the first one but you can see me doing the the other two bits which can they just it's just like doing petals for a flower build that up And it's on to his little nose. Again, use small beads, map his nose out, and then you can use more beads to build it up. You can always add, you just can't take away, so it is easier to build those beads up, even if it takes longer. So onto his pupils, not really really tiny beads here, drain the back of your brush on some towel just to avoid it seeping everywhere. So I'm using really wet black beads and coming in with monomer on my brush just to shade around his eyes just to make them stand out a bit more. Obviously if you put too much on don't worry about it just wipe your brush dip it into your monomer and come back in and yeah soak it. And I just carry on doing this throughout the rabbit just to give him a bit of shading and then down the carrot to make it look a little bit dirty Then using some more tiny little beads of black, coming with the little spots on his cheeks. To be honest, he kind of looks like he's got moles now, but I should have really painted those on with acrylic paint, but live and learn. If I do them again, I will be doing acrylic paint. So if I was you, I would, uh, I would try acrylic paint rather than using acrylic beads because they do look quite big and yeah, but he still looks quite cute. So 
went on to that last part. Giving his little paws, making him look like he's peeping it over the carrot. And once you've finished those, give him a little bit of shading because he's turned a little bit grey. He's a dirty rabbit now. Sorry, I do go out of um, shot here. I'm still learning when it comes to doing videos. And this is the first voiceover I've done, so it's been quite scary. And I've recorded, deleted, recorded, deleted, recorded, deleted, but practice, eh? So yeah, that's him pretty much done when that's done. You can keep adding if you really wanted to. Like flowers, maybe give him a little bow on top of his head. So I hope you like the video. If you recreate him, I'll uh, leave my Instagram link in the description. Tag me so I can see. And uh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so when I do more videos you'll get notified. Yeah, good luck.